or snipping her like oh, chunky Oh, what is funny with her? You, you are not sort of funny. Maybe you are. I'm here with Nicole Porter and Kathy Watson of the Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary. They're here at the Pet Emporium near Celine for Adopt a Rescued Rabbit Month. So tell me about what's going on here and a little bit about the sanctuary. Well, today we're doing um, an event for Valentine's Day and Adopt a Rescued Rabbit Month, um, which the theme of Adopt a Rescued Rabbit Month is uh, Make Mine Chocolate. We encourage people to uh, adopt rabbits rather than, um, or to get a chocolate rabbit rather than buying a rabbit uh, for their kids. And uh, it's kind of a, a lead in to the whole Easter time. Um, but we figured Valentine's Day is a great day to have buddies up here. And uh, maybe someone will find a love match with one of our kids. And this is Fernando. He's one of our Reno rabbits. Uh, he was actually injured and uh, came in, was rehabbed in the hospital, and has since become fairly friendly and very heavy. And, uh, <laughs> and we're trying to place him in a home today. Okay. I have Lizzie. She's approximately two years old. She was dumped in the parking lot of a pet post store and they contacted us so we were happy to take her in she's a cute little girl she spayed um, about two years old uh, and um, she heard she's been evaluated we evaluate all our rabbits um, she's a little shy around people but then a lot of rabbits are because rabbits are a prey animal which people tend to forget uh, they are not necessarily an ideal pet for everyone they are a very iffy pet for young children, uh, and that's because their bone structure and muscle structure is very delicate. But they make a marvelous pet, for, uh, especially for adults. They're active at dawn and dusk, and uh, that's usually for the working adult. That's an ideal time for a rabbit to, uh, to interact with your rabbit. Uh, a lot of rabbits do not like to be picked up again because of the prey aspect of their personality. Others do. I think it sort of depends on their uh, past interactions with people. Uh, the best way to get comfortable with your new bunny and to bond quickly with a new rabbit is for us to spend our time down on the floor with them. Rabbits are highly social, very curious, very charming. But they are initially, some are initially uh, reluctant. Uh, when you stop to think how big we are, how loud we are, and how small and close to the ground they are, it makes sense that we have to accommodate them. Because we have to gain their trust, and they need to feel safe uh, before many of them will turn into a truly fabulous pet. Some rabbits do not have the trust issue and will love you right away, but for the most part, the nice and rewarding challenge of a rabbit is that you must earn their trust first. So they're not a cat, they're not a dog, and uh, so they can be a bit of a challenge, but they're absolutely worth uh, the work that may be involved. They're charming comedians, they're very playful, they're very mischievous, you do have to protect your electrical wires because rabbits, for some unknown reason, love to chew on those. But we have a whole list of ways you can houseproof your rabbit. We do not like them in cages. Any size cage is much too small for an active rabbit. Uh, rabbits tend to live 8 to 12 years. Uh, they do need a rabbit specialist veterinarian, which is very important. Uh, Nicole, do you have anything to add to that? Um, diet. Diet, yes. Uh, bunnies should not be fed uh, just pellets. They should have unlimited Timothy hay. Mm -hmm. um, greens, usually, uh, some people say twice a day, some of us do once a day, but um, specifically romaine, uh, kale, parsley, dark mint, green. dark greens. Uh, you have to be careful with <clears throat> spinach because uh, it's really high in calcium. Too much calcium can cause um, uh, like bladder, bladder sludge and, yeah. and Which stones. stones. It can be very painful for the bunny. So, um, so That's pellets. also a good reason to not to uh, use alfalfa-based pellets or alfalfa-based hay. 
that's okay when they're young or if you have a nursing mother or an elderly or ill rabbit that needs to put on weight. But a healthy active rabbit should be on the Timothy because it has less calcium. But unlimited hay is incredibly important for a rabbit's yes. health. Their gut moves constantly. Uh, it's, they're different than a cat or a dog in that respect. Uh, because their gut moves constantly, they do go to the bathroom quite a bit. Uh, and if you if you happen to have a rabbit and you notice that it's not eating and not going to a bathroom, that is a sure sign that you need to get it to a rabbit specialist and be checked out. It could be a sign of GI stasis, which is where the gut doesn't move, and their gut can actually hemorrhage and they can die as a result. So it's a very painful death. Uh, and so it's very important to understand your rabbit's habits, uh, get to know their personality. Um, rabbits, being prey animals, tend to hide their illness because they don't want to be seen as even more, you know, susceptible uh, to being attacked. So you really need to know your rabbit's personality. And um, apparently right now, Fernando's personality is curious about what's going on. <laughs> so how can people find out more about the Great Lakes Rabbit Sanctuary? Well, you can go to our website, which is www.rabbitsanctuary.org, um, which has information about the rabbit uh, sanctuary, has information about our adoptable rabbits. We are listed on Pet Finder. There's information about events we have coming up, um, about ways that you can volunteer, ways that you can donate. Um, pretty much anything under the sun. We have links for uh, rabbit health care, uh, for uh, treatment, um, housing, food, basically any kind of information you could possibly need about rabbits we have links for on there. Um, also, we Bunny have Basics, Bunny Basics uh, which is our, our guidelines, um, things that we suggest for taking care of rabbits. Also, um, there's links for different uh, email addresses, and we always welcome people to email us with questions they may have about their rabbit. Um, being around, um, I think at our most we had 750 rabbits approximately, so um, a lot of our uh, volunteers and uh, staff they have seen pretty much everything under the sun with regards to rabbit health at this point, and they're very knowledgeable and very willing to share their knowledge. Usually the easiest pairing is Rabbits are also wonderful uh, litter box users. Uh, once they've established uh, their, their, their home, their territory, um, they are such a clean animal that most will use a litter box without problems. Now that's not to say uh, on the first day or two uh, that they will be. The, the thing with rabbits is that they're highly territorial and they may um, <clears throat> leave some poops scattered uh, at a doorway or at the entrance to their cage or the entrance to the room they're living in and that's just their way of saying this is my spot to the next rabbit who comes walking through the door. Now, uh, that behavior usually stops 99% of the time uh, within a few days, uh, and they're just wonderful litter box users. I know, I know. Rabbits are highly social, and if you have a single bunny and are considering getting a bunny for your bunny, we highly recommend that you take your rabbit on various rabbit dates. Find a rescue organization, or come to us, call us, and what we'd like to do is we'd like to introduce your single bunny to a variety of rabbits and let your rabbit choose who his new best friend is going to be. It is possible that a rabbit you just bring home and present to your rabbit, they may get along, but that's pretty unusual. So we Highly recommend letting your rabbit choose who his new friend is. Oh my gosh, if you've never had a rabbit before, we highly recommend that you research the rabbit and, and his care, what they need to be a happy and healthy pet. Um, on our website, we have a handout called Bunny Basics. It's a small booklet and it will cover housing, social, dietary, health issues, and uh, bunnies are a lot more work than one might think, so be sure to do your research first.